Oh, okay. That is not a, c a controller changing screen. That is just a controls screen. Good to know. Why would there not be changing controls? Maybe they hit it somewhere else. Oh well. Sneaky time. Oh, computer. There's another spot there. Don't see anywhere else to go here. Unless this has something behind it. That. Oh no. Excuse me. That awkward moment. Ow. Cool, I'm dying. I thought there might be a vent there or something. Just a bad, angry robot being mad. There we go. Ooh, there's something. Thank you. A little bit of experience as we proceed. Where are we going? Where are we going now? Hopefully closer to my goal. Could just be less video gaming and more realistic for all I know, and it could just be like, Hey look, a vent! You found a vent! Congratulations! It goes nowhere. Shame on you. Up, oh, I'm behind the turret. It's a good start. Ooh! A little, little more for me. Can I directly hack a turret at the turret? Too heavy to move. No, but no apparent way to hack it from here. So I'd probably have to hack it from a console. We look like we're in the clear here. Oh yeah, that looks like it's my goal, so we're probably all around safe. Alright, let's take a look. Can I open these things for some items? Nope, not much going on there. Not this time. Step away from the console. Now! Help me! Son of a bitch! Pritchard, you still there? Where else would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah, but you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub. In case it's booby-trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. Don't see anything to hack around here. So that's rather concerning. Also, this game is surprisingly heavy on gore so far. Not a complaint, just caught me off guard. So for some reason, Deus Ex didn't seem like the type of game where I'd be like, Oh yeah, just a bunch of people getting ripped apart, that's what's gonna happen. Nope, no sneaking through there, uh... Outlast style. No one so far. No sensors. And whatnot. Careful now. Now this place does look pretty empty so far. It might just be a hallway leading to another story bit. Oh, that's just an elevator. Onwards. I should have expected that from the fact that it had an up and down arrow as its icons. Can I hide here? Nope. Yeah, whatever happens, I'm gonna get seen if there's someone there. Friend? No sign yet. Okay. Careful now. I'm trying to keep an eye out for stuff. Oop. There's definitely a fight out there. Is that really the face on that paint can? Okay. <laughs> Wasn't really expecting that kind of emoticon to just show up in the game. So this is the purest? Yes. <laughs> Sans Serif sign. That's great. That's pretty funny. A lot of guns around here. Stocking up. 
Any bad guys? Just curious about this thing over here. That's just an open paint can. I thought it was a weird yellow orb of magic. So far in the clear. It is nice being able to peek around corners that way. But it would be a little less jarring if it was just always a third person game. Which I don't, I don't think that's a setting. But it would make the uh, transition less jarring. Because it's totally worth it to be able to look around the corner. Alright, what kind of patrol do we have here? Does he go back and forth? He'd probably take a little slow. Quickly. Reporting to you live from Picus. The other arrows are all dark, which I assume means they're on a different floor, so I should be back now to in the clear in this building. See if there's any items up here. Hey, gotcha. Picked up a beer? Oh man. That's a great idea. Just let's just indulge in the middle of this mission. So right now he's right outside this door. Oh, that's not a door. That's just a weird red panel. Okay. So one of them's right out here. Is he gonna turn around? Do I risk it? He didn't hear anything. We're in the open right now. I mean, we're in the clear right now. Uh, ooh, ammo. Fantastic. Let's see where this takes me. Yeah, this is just fun. Frankly, I've played a lot of shooters, so... Uh, f going into first-person stealth mode for a while is actually more gratifying and more... of a nice little, like, Batman Arkham Asylum sort of experience to some extent than, uh... just trying to shoot people all day. Because I've just done it so much! And it's not... I don't think this game's... known for being particularly innovative and fresh with its, like, I'm gonna shoot a guy in the face part. Although I don't know for sure. But I've never- I haven't seen a game truly innovate on that kind of gameplay in, uh, like, ten years, so... The odds are not in the game's favor. Hey, buddy! That door's open. That door's not open. My goal seems to be in the far left. Oh, my goal's still upstairs. Um, no one's currently looking this way. This is just- ooh! And turn on the faucet for no reason. Yay! Don't think we're gonna... Yeah, not gonna get a lot of here. The uh, There's also a uh, vent in here, but it's sealed. There's just a bunch of bathrooms. I'd be surprised to find anything in here. Who le who's gonna just leave stuff in the bathroom? What is this, Fallout? You walking past? We're in the clear. There's one guy up there, but mostly no one's going to really see me here. Oh, there's my chance for stuff. Tranquilizer darts, just on a desk, you know, where you find them. In random offices. You never know when you need to abuse tranquilizers to get some work done. By, uh, disabling your boss. <laughs> to extend your deadline. Alright, so the big concern is that guy. Ooh, there's someone patrolling straight at him. We want him to go somewhere else for a bit. If you don't mind. I can make this work. Oh yeah. I can make this work. Aha! Can I use these? The glow? Nope. Oh! Don't do that. Don't do that. That was a mistake. Alright. We just gotta be very careful with the timing here. No one's currently looking over here. Careful. Shit. I don't even know what any of this stuff means. Yeah, it's fine. Go ahead and not know what things mean. Probably wanna go over there, right? Careful! Is there a door I can close behind me? Uh there's nonsense around here. I've gotta be really close to the objective now, right? Or I'm going in circles. <laughs> no one spotted me, at least. I'm now on the other side of the room. I think this is the right way to go.
Yeah, this looks like it's right about there. Oh yeah, I went exactly where I need to go. I was a little concerned that I was going the wrong way. The moment I went downstairs, I was like, oh, it looks like the right way to go is actually like right next to me. Still messing with messing up controls a little bit, but I'll figure it out. There's an ebook. Lots of fire. Hey, fire. How you doing? Just want to give you hugs. Weird how the fire is exclusively on the outside of the building. That's not usually how fires work. <laughs> Artificial muscles from a seminar by Hugh Darrow, Spring, 2009. In the earliest iterations, artificial musculature technologies were a crude patchwork of pistons, pneumatics, and electric motors, but those systems have been surp uh, surpassed by the creation of synthetic proxies that mimic the actual form and function of human muscle tissue. Known as EAP, that's electroactive polymers, these artificial muscles are capable of linear movement of a type and scale ideally suited for cybernetic prosthetic limbs. The muscles of your bodies alter shape and form when electrochemical nerve sig uh, signals follow, uh, flow through them, and the EAPs operate the same way. When an electrical charge passes along the polymer structure, it changes shape. The technologies we are developing at Darrow Industries focus on creating what we call a fully plastic actuator mechanism. In basic terms, we have a three-part structure, a sandwich of gel layers made of a matrix of dispersed wall, uh, single-walled carbon nanotubes situated on either side of the ionic fluid polyelectrolyte core, known as a bulky gel structure. In reference to the carbon fullerene nanotubes, this design's simple arrangement of soft electrodes and electro electrolyte layers is capable of operating at very low voltages. Which should be necessary, because I don't know how powerful the electrical impulses in the human body are. That's, they wired it directly in. Don't lie to me! I don't want to hurt you. You're a civilian. But I will if you don't give me a choice. If you didn't want to hurt anyone, you should have stayed home tonight. Oh look! Seraph's attack dog! You're here to clean up before the police bust in? He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up! All you body polluters break laws. You're all the same. You're gonna have a hard time convincing people you're any different once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factoring labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Tolo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, Hatter. I got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, you hear? But I gotta... I gotta check things out. So, mia la vieja, we're leaving. <laughs> oh, well. Here's a tense situation. I can try to fight him, let him go, or try to free Josie. Oh, no. Well, this is rough, because obviously you want to try to keep her... I mean, ideally you want to stop him too, but more than anything you want to not let her let her get taken. But I don't know if she's gonna- I don't know if he's gonna be up for that at all. You know I can't let you go with her. Stand down, Hanser! I told you, stand down or this bitch is dead! Bullshit. You're bigger than that. You don't kill civilians. Damn right! I'm a decorated vet, and I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady is my only ticket out of here. Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with Oggs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what it must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? This is rough. So you can try to make him feel like an idiot, which doesn't seem to help. You can try to reason with him, or you can empathize. Let's see. Ah. Uh... I'm just trying to- I'm trying to try to empathize, because I'm trying to get them to not shoot this person in the head. You're doing better than you think. You're still standing, and that's more than the hacker was expecting. You said you're a vet, so I know you've got the balls to handle this. 
You don't need the civilian to get you out of here. <laughs> you got a good point there. But still, I've got to exploit my advantage. And as long as I hold on to this lady here, you and the cops will be way too scared to come near me. Face it. You got outmaneuvered. That didn't really work, did it? Let's see. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so this one's like saying, yeah, the hostage is my only priority. No one gives a damn about a coward who hides behind a skirt. You try to humble him, but he might that might just incite him. It's the, that's the other side of, hum of humbling. Empathize. Our reason. They'll be after looking, uh, they'll be looking after the, after the civilians too occupied to worry about you, but if you happen... If something happens to the civilian, huh? Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I thought they were gonna freak it out. That's a good point, though. Their, their priorities will shift. Otherwise, uh... The only thing you focus on right now is safety of the civilian, same as you. You risk your life to do what's best for other people. Trying to dr Yeah, that's probably a good idea. The only thing the cops are focused on right now is the safety of the civilians. Same as you. You've risked your life to do what's best for other people. You're not some drive-by banger. Right. Like I need the approval of somebody who sold this soul to the biomod industry. Uh, this is out of control. The crusade is going straight into the crapper. And my brother's going to be hung up to dry. I'm the leader. I'm the one who has to fix things. But I can't because I'm trapped in here. Well, this hasn't gotten much better, has it? Shit. Uh. Ha ha ha. So Humble's talk like you think you're stupid. Uh. He was counting on you into using a hostage so that we get yourself killed and tie up a loose end. You're blending into his trap. Empathize. You've got you've got more honor than the men who betrayed you. You're not gonna let the, your brothers down like this. You were supposed to take uh, hostages, but and force the. Sh shut up! I'm trying to read. <laughs> you were supposed to take hostages and force the cops to silence you permanently, but you're smarter than this. It is a trap, isn't it? That's pretty. Yeah, let's let's just try to reason with him now. Listen, the hacker's plan was for you to die. <laughs> He knew there would be civilians here tonight. He thought of everything. He used your brother because he knew you would trust him. That's how well he knows you. He expected you to take a hostage. Just like he knew the cops would kill you for it. You're right. Damn! You know he even asked me once about hostages. I told him I would if I had to. I thought I had to here, but I can't afford to, can I? Go on, get out of here. You're free to go. I did what you wanted, so let me go. I got played here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cabron. Yeah, well, maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this, someone's gonna pay. Are you still there? Adam! <gasps> Adam, what's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. What about the hostages? Shouldn't I? There's nothing you can do, son. So I couldn't save him. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just a little shaken up, but what about the other hostages? My husband was with them in one of the assembly labs. And I overheard talk about a bomb. I'm sorry. None of the other hostages survived. No. No. It can't be true. Where were the police? Why didn't they come in? They could have saved him. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. So I completely missed the hostages then. I assumed that I was supposed to save them too. So there's something I missed about the environment, about how I was supposed to get there. Did I- or maybe I didn't have the- did I- I wonder if I didn't have the, uh... The objective selected or something. So that I could know where to- where to find it. So, so I managed to miss that. I- I guess it's just something I'll have to look into for the next mission. Pocket Secretary. 
Alright, added to the media log. What does that say? I look, uh, Acolitos hears Anther hacked code. Oh, another hacked code? Uh, opens the manager's computer in the admin building. That's some very in annoying ways of writing things. Here we go. Any reason to use this? I guess I know the code. Sorry. Uh, login J Thorpe, password Hydra. Really, typing doesn't work? Alright. Oh, right. Yeah, I have to. I keep, oops. I keep trying to hit A on all the menus, but it's X for some reason. And then I sit there and think it's not interacting. And then I try to type it manually, and that doesn't work either. Uh, should be good to go. Crisis situation. Josie, as you know, we're in dire straits here. We need to fulfill several large orders for the alphabet agencies, the Typhoon being just the first of them. We depend on these contracts for a significant portion of our revenue, meaning that successful on-time production and delivery of these orders is absolutely necessary to maintain our bottom line. It is extremely important that we make the necessary preparations to ramp up production in the plant. I'm going to need a detailed overview of this month's production schedule by the end of the, of the day to tomorrow. Sorry about the last minute request, but I'm confident you know the drill. I have faith that if we knuckle down and pull together, we'll knock this one out of the park, David. Urgent response needed. Attention President CEO. Dear Sir, confidential business proposal. Having consulted with my colleagues and based on the information gathered of the Nigerian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, I have the, uh, the privilege to request for your assistance. God damn it. This is all... Wait, is this real or not? Yeah, it's probably, this is, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, spam email. I'm pretty sure that was a spam email to get into your stuff. Like, to try to get through your account. I hope she's gonna be mourning for a while, because I screwed up. That'll be something to l live and learn from for the next mission. Whoops. Playing games blind. Not quite what you signed up for, is it, Jensen? Excuse me? Sneaking into your own factory to hide stuff while the boss holds the cops at bay? Don't get me wrong, I love Mr. Seraph. I just hate it when contracts become more important than people. I thought you did too. I do. But things don't always go according to plan, Malik. I did what I could. I... I'm sure you did. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. It really is amazing seeing how much of an impact a, a change in console generation has on the graphics of video games. Because this is only a few years old, but it's from the previous consoles, so, so as a result, it looks shockingly old now, actually. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try them out, what do you think? I'm not gonna lie and say they didn't come in handy back there. But like you said, I didn't choose to get augmented. So it'll take some getting used to. I get it. But don't be surprised if the boss keeps pushing you to get more. Why? What do you mean? You know how he is. He thinks augmentations are the be-all, end-all of everything. 
and he can't understand why someone wouldn't want to become more than human. Megan used to say the same thing. I'm not surprised. The research she was doing was pretty damn inspired. Might have convinced a lot more people to give what we make here a try. If... If that bastard hadn't killed her. Listen, Jensen. I know you want to find the men who attacked us, and so do I. If I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Oh wow, it wasn't even it wasn't really 100% clear to me that she was dead. Cuz she just got not she got slapped basically and then we never saw her again. But yeah, I guess I totally called it that she was just going to straight up die. That's what that that type of conversation always projects like somebody being kidnapped or dying. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack was just to destroy Megan's research. Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the IntelliCams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending, and Mr. Seraph is not pleased. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. I'm gonna find a Malik, one way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. So, we have a really strong tactical hit on our base a few months ago that led to me getting augmented and my ex-wife getting killed and we have another strike against us again where the, it, it was part it was the uh, resistance itself going after us are these doors still open because I left them open last time is that what happens I wonder let's open it that way this time as a test yes we will invert the doors to learn learn their true motive oh well we'll see if that we'll see if they're still face that shaped that way when I come back from the next mission or something but we have a second strike against us in our group, using the, uh, utilizing a resistance group, but clearly having an infiltrated person. Because there was a person in the group that had augments, and they're specifically anti-augment group, which would imply that it has to be an outsider that was secretly part of the group. So and if that's the case, then, uh, I mean, the law... It's like the law of screenwriting means that there's a decent chance that they're both the same person. Or the same group uh, behind both things. Well, if it isn't Mahatma Gandhi himself, come to honor us all with his life-preserving presence. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. Will we, though? Is that what's gonna happen? We're gonna get along better? I don't think we're ever gonna get along better. In fact, boom! That's mine now. Take that, weird 
ponytail Final Fantasy fan guy. Ooh! There's Nuke and Stop software. Those are mine now. Thank you for your contribution to the uh, a greater cause of me. Can I just steal stuff from his room all day? Because I don't like him very much. So that's a good start, right? Just take all his junk. I think that might have been about it in that direction, though. More cyber power. The nature of neuroplasticity. From the lecture of Hugh Darrow given at the Byrne Institute of Medicine 2013, the term neuroplasticity literally means the flexibility of the brain to reorganize itself based on the result of experience. Two decades ago, the consensus among cognitive neuroscientists like yourself was that lower brain and neocortical areas were unable to be changed after development, whereas structures such as memory could be actively altered in areas related to formation of recall. In a series of cleverly designed experiments, Michael Merzenich uh, uh, proved that soma somatosensory and auditory sensations, touch and hearing respectively, can in fact be modified through practice. This process of long-term potentiation was further explored in a series of studies in the mid-90s at Southern Illinois University. Studies which clearly showed how memories could be en enhanced by manipulating neuroplasticity. Indeed, with the precise timing available to us in today's computers, we can clearly see the enhancement of learning can be applied to areas of the motor cortex, auditory cortex, somatosensory cortex, and hippocampus. Manipulation of neuroplasticity makes it clear that we, as a species, have been blessed with a brain that has an unparalleled flexibility to incorporate neuroprosthetic augmentations. I knew those were they're going. It's like it's ultimately got to be about like how uh, the brain is perfect for being tinkered with, because we can manipulate ourselves and we can adapt to change. 